There it goes. Okay. Ten, ten minute it. timer set. Got it. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> like I'm welcoming people to your house. <laughs> Welcome to the video. Welcome to the video. Welcome to our video. We don't know. By the way, the lens is over there. If you look here, people will think that you're like looking at something like way over there. But if you look, I was planning on looking at you or Hello, my camera too most of the time. Yep, like, yep, yep. This is why we're wearing blankets. <laughs> we had fake summer There's for like a week. And so we're like, hey, it's warm out. So we got ice drinks, but it's like real temperature now. So we're real temperature. (laughs) In Canada, we have fake temperature (laughs) and also real temperature. (laughs) We do. And so now we need blankets to go to ice ice drinks. Yes, exactly. (laughs) Also, this is a completely unplanned video, and therefore I literally set us a timer so we don't ramble for too long. We already wasted a whole minute of it. We did. Introducing what's going on. That's not a waste. I'm Natasha. I'm Michelle. It's pronounced Natasha. And pronounce Michelle. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we are writers. Yep. We're authors, actually. We should call ourselves authors. Because we're published. That's the well, big difference. Right. Oh, really? <laughs> That's the difference, yeah. If you're sure. published, you're an author. Yeah, we're authors. But yeah, you're right. And we are writers. <laughs> so we do write. And we're right, so we're writers. It's going well. <laughs> what are you working on today? What am I working on? Mm-hmm. Are you still uh, writing that sequel? I'm, re- I'm editing it. Mm. Oh, you finished it, right? Yeah, I finished it. I'm editing the sequel finished. to Summer's End. It's called Autumn. <laughs> no, look at you skewy, sorry. <laughs> it's like finished. Anyway. I, I finished the first draft. Mm. I'm editing the sequel to Summer's End. It's called Autumn Seas. And I sent my MCs to Sardinia, which I'm discovering is not as much like Italy like I thought it was. No. I was like, hey, cool. It's kind of Italian, but it's kind of not. It technically belongs to Italy. Like, but, but it's not. But it's, it's actually kind of their own. Like they have their own culture. They have their own like mm-hmm. ethnic backgrounds that are different from Italians. Actually, your laptop is so lush. <laughs> um, they have their own languages. They do speak a lot of Italian. They've got a lot of Italian influence. They're just yeah. not the same as. So it's that the research has been fun. Yeah, I did the same thing, but for Sicily because Sicily's the same way. Right, but not the same as Sardinia. <laughs> That the same thing. as no, that. I know, it's right? part of Italy, so they have their own like cultural languages. That being said, they are somewhat multicultural. So a lot of my characters um, are. I have some that are Italian. I have some that are just like they're from England or whatever. And um, oh, I have I have one dude that's French, which is kind of fun because oh that is fun. I don't have to research the language quite so much. <laughs> quite <laughs> like, so much because I already know how to speak Let French. Let me tell you, his name is Teo. Which makes speaking me. of the stupid things we Google, I don't want to tell you how many times I Google we things in this French. Video. I know. <laughs> I do sometimes I Google things in French. I'm like, I, I feel like I know what this means because I am bilingual, I, technically. Yeah. But then I look it up just to make sure. No, I have the Vacherel website favorited now because I've used it so much. Even though I know how to conjugate verbs in French. I just keep going like, is it really this? <laughs> and it is that. <laughs> that being said, say. like English is my first language, obviously. But I Google things in English uh, yeah. <laughs> to make sure the words mean what I think they mean before I use them. And sometimes I'm surprised because they don't mean what I think they mean. I'm like, well, you've been using that wrong. Mm. <laughs> so if I any of you play play Wordle, the Wordle last one of the ones last week was canny. I was like, canny's not a word, but I looked up. Canny? I was like, is it the opposite of uncanny? It is uncanny? not. Yeah, but they're not. It's opposites. not even the opposite. No, they have nothing to do. That's with why English is very annoying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I looked. I was. I was so mad. I also I'm looked sorry, up the difference between gold language. and golden twice in one week. Mm-hmm. So that was kind of stupid. I was like, am I using this right? I was. <laughs> I feel like I've looked up thing. that before too, but I think it was the word guilted, guilt, like guilt, mm-hmm. not guilt, like you're guilty, guilted, like stuff that's gold covered, guilt, which is different. No, guilt. Oh, it's guilted. G I L T. I'm pretty sure it's what it is. Oh, I thought it was guilted. Which is different from gold and golden. Golden is the color. Gold is actually made of gold. Yeah. Whereas guilted is covered in gold covered flecks in or whatever. Foil. Yeah. Which is three different things in my brain. So I thought it was guilted. I thought it was with a T. So I would have looked that up. No, I thought it was with a T. With a She's oh, gonna look it up right look now it up. <laughs> because we she got probably five knows. On the clock. <laughs> sure, why not? Five and a half. It's fine. I'm looking it up. Yeah, us writers, we think actually we're guilt smart, might be like like G I L T might be like an old way of writing it. Because I thought it was guilt covered with thinly gold leaf. Is there one with covered a D? thinly with a gold leaf? But it might be like you can go either way with the D or the G or the T. Yeah, it's it's either way. Oh, it is. So, we're so both, I right? feel like uh, with a T might be like either an older way to do it or it's the other way around. I don't know. Oh no, one or the other. 
One or the other. Cool. The point is, it's different from gold and golden, but it's it all has to do with gold. Sure, I haven't used that. The Maybe things I you learn when that. you Google random stuff for the stories you write. I'm still mad about candy and uncanny. I also Google sometimes just um, like random like details that I didn't realize that I would have to Google. Like one time I Googled whether um, a like three quarter length sleeve jacket is a thing, like a blazer is a thing for men because I envisioned it on Alex, my character from Finding Grace, and I was like. It seems like something you'd wear. Does that exist, or is it just a woman thing? But no, they exist. Yeah, they men. exist. And they look really hot, too. Yeah, because the saying. forearms. Yeah. I like my forearms. Exactly. Are, <laughs> they're not really... There's nothing wrong with your arms. Your elbows are a bit pointy. Like, so I know. Right? No. But everybody has pointy elbows. Like, no, not everybody has pointy elbows. Who doesn't have pointy elbows? Minor. Point on your body. Like, <laughs> Mine are like razors. <laughs> little knives. I'm going to cut that part out. <laughs> little knives. Now my daughter's made out of elbows everywhere. She has elbows everywhere. Mm-hmm. Elbows and knees. Definitely. Elbows. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I googled this because I was sending him to a party. I did that for one sentence. Oh, right. That's, that's the thing. Point. I was like, I'm not sure what he's wearing because he's differently dressed You're gonna than usual. What? Describe what he's wearing. Well, he he's so describe what he's know. wearing because he's yeah. dress, dressed differently than usual because he dressed for a party and I was like he'd probably wear something like this to look cool at this party and then I was like does that even exist? Turns out it does. This is why we're writers because we're bad at (laughs) (laughs) sleep. I look up clothes all the time. All the time because I don't know what clothes look like and what how to describe them. I don't know what they look like. Literally I don't know how like I don't know what people wear. The thing is sometimes when I read them in like other authors books like they'll describe what Material they're made out of. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I mm-hmm. still can't picture this because I don't know what that material is. I don't know, but I research. Um, like, <laughs> our sister in law makes clothes, and I ask her all the time, I'm like, what is this? I'll show her a picture and be like, what is this fabric? What do you call this hemline? What is it? She always knows. It's the same thing with hairstyles. Like, I looked up hairstyles once, like men's hairstyles and women's hairstyles, because I don't know mm-hmm. what any of them are called. I just know down, pony, half pony. <laughs> I don't know what this stuff. So, like, I was trying down, to pony, half pony. <laughs> no, but, a braid. Oh, but that too. <laughs> Whatever. It's like a pony. Like, she's like, what is a pony? No, I, I, I was trying to describe Zeke's hair, but Zeke has like I remember I longer on the like top, shorter on the sides, and it wasn't quite a yeah. mohawk. Because mohawks just said are like very. That. I don't remember. That doesn't sound like what I thing. ended up calling it, but I had an image of it in my head, and so I like looked through a bunch of Google images trying to find with? somebody with that hair, and then see what it was called. I think a quiff. It was something like that. Mm-hmm. But anyway, yeah, that's that's a fun thing. I also spent a long time deciding how tall Grace's heels were so that she wouldn't be taller than Alex in them because she mm. was a little on the tall side. It was for one sentence. It's always for one sentence. How <laughs> much did she stray away? We all know. <laughs> for one sentence. 90 pounds. So apparently it's I should have just chosen 200. I don't know why I had to get so specific about how much this kid weighs. It's 190. 190 sounds better than 200. That's it was why. so specific that's because it was specific. in... It was in Meg's point of view, and she would know for some reason. Why would she know roughly. how much she weighs? She's obsessed with me. Come on, let's be honest. <laughs> okay. I love it. <laughs> well, yeah. We have a minute and a half. <laughs> I'm pointing to the time. She's pointing to the time. We have a minute and a half left of our video. So, yeah, anyway, we've got new books on my own, new spoilers, and all kinds of stuff. So, you know. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up for our newsletters. If you want to know who we're even talking about, you should read our book. <laughs> Same. We're just, we're just referring to characters' names. Like they're real people. <laughs> they're real people. <laughs> That's what I'm talking so about. You don't know. They they are, read the books, you don't know who people. the hell we're talking about. Mm-hmm. And... Oh, that's the other thing I Google all the time, too. Just baby names. Like, baby, baby names. names from whatever year my characters were born. Mm-hmm. Just to, like, see what the baby names are. I recently looked at names from, like, the country they were, like, part of. And, like, they got different names in different countries, so. Like that the too. other day, I looked up names for, like, uh, the the parents of... Pausing it. <laughs> oh, she's pausing the time. For, like, the parents of the characters. And I was right. like, but all these names are names of, of girls I went to school with. Mm-hmm. I'm not old enough yet to be the mother of any of my characters, but I'm getting there. It's a little bit scary. Almost. But I'm like, really? Like, these don't feel like old enough names. But. That is like when I was trying to name Kevin's parents. Okay, his mom is turning... Okay, his mom is turns 40 in the story. Yeah. Kevin's mother turns 40 in the story. Yeah. And I was looking up for names for his parents, 
And then I was like, hang on, what year were they born? And realized they're 80s babies. Because yeah. they're only a few years older than me. And I was like, well, hang yeah. on a second. I am closer in age with their parents yes. than I am with my characters. Yeah. And it made me feel ancient, I gotta say. <laughs> so old. Mm-hmm. I'm not even that old. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> I think the youngest parents in my Less Than Perfect story are 38. And I'm like, oh, that's really not far off from me. Yeah. If you don't look it, at least. That's what, <laughs> that's what I'm saying about Kevin's mom, because, like, she's the youngest parent I've written. Like, mm-hmm. his mom is turning 40. Like, Everly's parents are when pretty young, like, too. Like, her what? dad's, like, 45. Her stepmother's, like, 40-ish, something like that. But Kev- Kevin is, like, what, 20-something? He's 23. He's 23, 23 yeah. He turns 23 in the story. Yeah. Um, yeah. She's just a young mom. But anyway, I was, like, trying to find a name for her, and I was like, these are all names of people that yeah. I would have gone to school with. Mm-hmm. Like, what? Even. And uh, why so is she so close in age with me? <laughs> I know, we're getting old. Like, hello, Kevin, you're my character, and I love you, but also your mom's the same age as me, which is kind mm-hmm. of nice. So I mean, all about young people. Like, I relate to the young people. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're young at heart. And yeah. old souls. I love yeah. how those two go together. Apparently, those are both compliments, but I guess if you're old at heart, it's not. <laughs> old <laughs> So it's a compliment soul. to be young at heart, but an old soul. But then that it's like, weird. are we old or are we young? What do we want to be? An old soul with a young at heart? Like, how is that even? I'm just saying. That is weird. Like that. So mm-hmm. we got 38 seconds left. <laughs> no, should I restart the time? <laughs> no, you really you don't have to. I just didn't want to go it's down already in the middle of our too. story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, what it, that's what we said we would do. <laughs> anyway, when's your book coming out? September? I got that one, and I'm working on a Christmas story for my Star Creek Christmas collection. I decided to call them a collection because this one happened seven years before the first one, yeah, so it can't be a series. sequel. No. So it's not like I can really number them. They don't actually even need to be read. They're standalone stories oh, so in the same them, world, so I'm calling them a calling collection. Them, uh, a collection. <laughs> uh, Unless there's another word for that. There is. They're standalone um, stories in the same world. I think that's still a series, though, even if it's not sequential. Sure. Or... Let's call it a series, then. This one's about a doctor. Mm. And a photojournalist. Oh, that's fun. Mm-hmm. It's fun. It also happens in, like, 12 days before Christmas. Oh, nice. I like that, too. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you start to write a Christmas story, and you're like, oh, you want everything to happen, basically, between, like, like a month. And you're like, that's pretty short for, like, timeline-wise for a story. I know. The one that's just one I'm working on, I think... I think it starts maybe in October or something. Goes up to Christmas. Well, like, that's not very much time for two people to fall in love because you know they're gonna fall in love. That's yes, because <laughs> it's so. a romance. We're Shh, romance. That's not a spoiler. No, <laughs> Don't add. It's not a spoiler that people with romances fall in love. Like that's not a spoiler. we write romance. Pretty um, much. That's like um, that is the issue that I had with to save a life because. I wanted it to be a Christmas story, but it technically started in August. But they knew each other already. But it technically started in August because she had this idea that she needed to, like, plan, and I wanted to put the planning in it, so I couldn't just start it in, like, October or November because that's not enough time to plan things. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, they did know each other already, and that was the same with... Yeah, um, I'm talking about the love story. My other other, um, Christmas story that I have, Christmas Canvas, like, they also knew each other. Like, it started in November. Like, that was a really quick, like... It was like six weeks or something, the whole, the yeah. whole story. But they knew each other. That was like a second chance, whatever. Mind you, so. somebody commented on one of my books said the love story was a little bit too, like they fell in love a little bit too quickly and stuff. Our parents got engaged two, mon- two months, two, two weeks. weeks after meeting. I don't even think they Which were dating. Which goes with my 12 days before meeting. Christmas theory, I'm just saying. Well, I'm just saying that, you know, sometimes it can the happen. truth is stranger than fiction. It Not that mom and dad are strange. I didn't mean it that <laughs> way. Don't misconstrue my words. And they've been married for like 41, 41 41 years. One or 42? 41. Uh, a long just time. 41 years? <laughs> 41 years. So there you, you go. Married in 81? Yeah. 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 41 years. Mm hmm. So two weeks after meeting. I just want to clarify two weeks. <laughs> anyway. And, and not not just that, but our dad literally immigrated to this country to get married to our mom. So he was like visiting. This sounds so convoluted. When he was already (laughs) visiting, he was visiting with this church. Yeah, came on a visit, found a girl, and was all like, "I'm getting married." That one (laughs) moved here just to marry her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's pretty. It's actually a pretty cool story. It can happen. 
It can so, happen. Yeah, which is why I'm sticking to my 12 days for this one. Because they haven't met, they don't. They just met each other, and it, the ha- story happens over 12 days. But do so. your characters typically get engaged at the end of your books? A lot of them do. Oh. Mine don't always, them. mine usually they, don't end with an engagement. Oh, I well, say they don't write usually, about but... Though, so that's a little more realistic. That's not, no, I have a whole, like, all the new Oh, articles. the other ones, right, okay, sorry. I'm sorry, they I was just thinking of, I was thinking the of the YAs, though. But as they get, like, as the series move on, you see that they, like, stay together. And well, not all, stuff. not all of them do. Like, um, it depends, though. Like, Grace and Alex, they took two books for that. They took two books for that, and then... Because he wrote three books in that series. Two whole books to get engaged. They were all just together for, like, three years. years. As opposed to, like, Bo and Kate, they only knew each other for, like, a summer. And yeah, that's the thing about writing stories is that it feels more realistic to get engaged, like, a few years after you're already together. But nobody wants to read a book where it takes years of them being in love to I mean, get some engaged. people write that. It's just not what we write, really. It's not what I write. <laughs> they don't usually write. Well, maybe, maybe an epilogue or something. I don't know. Yeah. Well... Huh. One of my couples starts the story married, so <laughs> I think it depends. On, oh, there you go. I think it also just depends on how the story is going. Like if it fits the characters. Like for Grace and Alex, they had a lot of issues, and it just didn't seem like it would be right. It felt better that they were together a little bit, which is why I wrote them the sequel in the first place. Mm. Whereas mm. Bo and Kate, like it was just like it had to be. Like that was just the way it was meant yeah. to be. And when I re- when so initially I didn't have that though in the first draft, and then I read the whole story to Joel, and he was like. I would have been happy if there was even more than that. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he's like, I don't know if they got married or something. And he's not even a romance reader. And I was like, all right. So You say that, but you know he is. And you know that he, he likes, likes romances. Romance he doesn't stories. read romances. He enjoys romance he stories. He will not read them for himself. He didn't think that people would think that's weird. I don't know. He also secretly likes chick flicks, but that's because he's just watching it and he doesn't have to go through the whole of reading he the books. Too. He just this is why I read the books to him and then he enjoys the stories. <laughs> he likes the stories, he just doesn't My like... My husband doesn't like reading fiction because he's a Fantasia and he can't imagine anything that's Aww. happening, but he likes the story. Like, I tell him about my characters and he's like, oh, who does that one end up with? So tell me he doesn't like this those is, romance so either. This is, the, this is like, how oh. I get him to know the stories. I'm like, I'll read it to you and then I read it to him and then yeah. he's like, yeah, he enjoys it that way. Yeah, Sorry, I just, interrupted you. No, it's Okay, I just tell you lie about my characters because there's so many of them, mm-hmm. but only on long drives when there's nothing else to do. <laughs> like you're trapped, you're a captive audience now. I told Joel about my stuff because he just has really good ideas. He does not like reading about hearts though. He's got to think about against hearts. And oh, <laughs> when hearts ever have like when hearts are reactions. like being, oh, being their own thing. He's like, like what? My what is heart that? is beating. Everybody's got a heart condition. <laughs> 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 what you should point, get that chick down. <laughs> there was something to do with Bo's heart and he was like why did you put that in there I'm like what are you talking about like his heart is reacting to stuff what is your problem because <laughs> that's the way we're taught you have to write a romance novel I like it though hearts are like they got like minds of their own so anyway what I was saying like initially I didn't have that and then he was like I would have been happy with more so I went ahead mm-hmm. and got them engaged and there you go and then mm-hmm. I wrote them a sequel for that purpose yes yeah. <laughs> so but yeah a lot of them do um, for this one, this one that I'm writing ask, now, that one only one happens in 12 days, I'm not oh. sure. It depends on... I was going to ask about your sequel. Is that what I'm not done writing it yet. What? The sequel, is that one going to end up with The se- for Everly and Kevin? Yeah, is that one going to end up with the vacation? Oh, I don't give all the spoilers away. Right? They're already together. <laughs> Probably. Probably, I feel like that's... in here for I feel minutes? like that's the way they're going. No, no. If they, no. <laughs> they might go back for what a if they just break up? What do they I don't like endings like that. <laughs> Why would I do that to anybody else? Okay. I got 38 seconds on the timer that I can pause. Still. And we're at about 19 minutes here on the clock. So. Oh my goodness. But I don't know. This has been fun. This is like us on the treadmill. We're really like, how many minutes are we going for? <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, that's fun. Wait, you didn't tell... I said what I was working on. What is your next thing? Oh, I was working on... You're still getting the, the... You got more of the less than perfect stuff. Um, yeah, I have, like, a second arc coming. By that, I mean, like, they're going into the second school year, so... I think I put this in my last video. Just have it be your, like, never-ending music series. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, that's the thing, is that I have plans for stuff that's going to happen later oh. in the series. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm writing... It's the second school year, and I'm... Finishing up the... Second last. Finishing up number 10 right now. I'm planning for 12. Right. 
Planning for 12. 12 is going to be another series, or another book of short stories. That's a nice round number for like a my series. Like my lesson for a Y series. I like yeah. That. I would read that. I have some plans for future books for that series, but I don't want to say too much about that. They have a bunch of good You don't want to say too much, but I don't want to. I do want to. I do want to. I do want to. They have, there's, <laughs> so I don't want to give away too much, but like they had like the characters in the series have a bunch of like younger siblings, and... They're all around the same age, so I thought it'd be fun if they continued the less than perfect legacy. No, it sounds good. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, it would be fun. I have lots of ideas for that. So I always have lots of ideas though, so it's just a case of actually writing down the ideas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, I don't mind telling you whether my current character's getting engaged or not, like I don't oh, feel like no, that's a spoiler. <laughs> it's no, a romance. Right, yeah, it's not a spoiler that they end up together. It's like, about what happens. Though. It's about how they end up together and yeah. other stuff that happens along the way. Also, they're not strictly romance. Like, there's a lot of, like, coming-of-age stuff in mm-hmm. there. And I read a lot of drama. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm also working on some more short stories in my uh, Anipian Chronicles series whole bunch of short stories. Some of them are already published and you can find them. Some of them are not finished because I'm not finished writing them. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good though. Yeah, a lot of stuff fun. on the go. That's it? A lot of stuff, a lot yeah. Of stuff on the go. Yeah, no kidding. I just got two things. I also had a new idea. Just, just <laughs> percolating. Percolating. It's actually like that's, not that I new. Like that I had it for a while. I just haven't like um, such really tradition. done anything for it yet. Mm-hmm. But it's gonna be like a four new, four new things. I'm thinking like maybe like novellas, but I'm not sure. Because the last time I tried to no- write a novella, it ended up being a full-length novel. So <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know if I can actually pull that off. I feel like it's easier to novel than it is to novella. Mm-hmm. Apparently, I'm too long-winded, as yeah. we can tell by this 22-minute uh, video that was supposed to be 10 minutes. <laughs> We well, don't know yeah. how to shorten things, apparently, but that's okay. That's right. If we had a plan, we might have been able to, but we didn't have the a plan. The plan was to get together and talk about stuff we Googled. Sort of. mm-hmm. Not really. The plan was to stick to the 10-minute timer, which we didn't do. We said we would pause it. <laughs> I did. tell stories. And we told stories. We cool. can't help it. We're storytellers. <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, we can say goodbye. Okay. Here's our links. Sign up. Yeah. Sign up. Find us on whatever. Follow us. I'm trying to do this. Start as if there's a link I'm, on the screen. I'm assuming our, our countdown. <laughs> oh, we got 30 seconds to say bye bye. Mm-hmm. We got 33 seconds oh, cool. to say goodbye and remind you that you should buy our books. Yeah, buy our books. Read and then them. review them. Read please. them on Kindle Unlimited. Review our books. If you read our books, review them so that we know if you hate them or like them. <laughs> I'd rather know than not know. Like if you didn't like something about my book. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, well, bye! (laughs) We were expecting them to say goodbye. Thank you, bye. (laughs) Thanks for watching.